Wow, February's already over and we're into March 2022, and that means it's time to look at what's been happening in the Orange County coastal real estate market for the month of February. So let's take a look at inventory, days on market, and sales price in the coastal Orange County region, which is Newport Beach, Corona Del Mar, and Newport Coast, so we can see what the trends are telling us is gonna happen the balance of the first quarter 2022. Hi, I'm Kiwi the Coast, your luxury real estate specialist, helping you maximize and sell the value of your coastal home. Now, you're dying to look at the data, so let's dive in. So let's look at those new listings coming to the market in those three city areas. Now, single family homes only is what we're tracking. If we look at January, we had 82. So what's happening in February? Well, as expected, it's inched up to 97 new listings on the market. What was it a year ago? 118. So we don't have the same amount of new inventory coming to the market just yet. Still a strong seller's market, and those buyers have got to have their roller skates on and be able to move quickly to jump on the new inventory. Now it's time to look at the actual number of closings, the number of sales that occurred in February. Well, in January, it was 70. Is it up or down in February? Well, it's the same. We've got 70 closings in February as well. So it's neck and neck with the month before. A year ago, guess what? It was 93. So sales are keeping pace. We hope to see more inventory so we can enjoy those numbers increasing. Now, what about the days on market? That's the number of days that a home is staying on the market before it's sold. January was 41. February, would you expect it to be up or down? Well, it's tightened up. The homes are selling faster, and so we got 29 days on the market is the average for February. What was it a year ago? It was 50, yes. So days on market, getting really skinny. Those houses are still selling very quickly. What about the total active inventory out there for single family homes? This is the pool of homes that buyers can actually go out and purchase. Last month, was 166 homes. What was it in February? Guess what, it's gone up slightly, 172. Now, a year ago, what was that number? 336. So we're still a lagging inventory, even though we've seen it creep up a little bit compared to a year ago, we still have a shortage of homes out there for those hungry buyers. So let's look at the average list price of the inventory out there and see where that's trending. Well, last month, January, it was 4.8 million. What about in February? Guess what? It's gone up 7.6. That means that more expensive homes are currently in the marketplace. Hey, I hope you found all of that information valuable. That's a wrap for February 2022. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date on all those changes affecting you and the real estate market. See you on the next video. The room.